sorry, but I need to go back. Do you want to know why I did everything I can to recruit you, Miruo? <laughs> My assumption was right. I've been looking for his weakness, and I finally found it. What will he do to Mr. Shao? If you don't want anything to happen to him, shut up and come with me. Chao Liang, I like the way you say his name. You're always following him, but what for? Is it money or something else? I have no ulterior motive. I work for him and I'm his employee. <laughs> you don't fool me. You're just a good looking babe who's trying to climb the ladder. You can beg me as well. I can help you. I have everything that he has. Just beg. Beg! If there's nothing else to talk about, I better go. <laughs> no one walks out on me. What are you doing? Oh, is Shao Liang that important? Is he that attractive to you, huh? Let go of me! You're drunk! <laughs> I'm getting sick of everyone looking down on me while he's placed on a pedestal. I follow him around like a shadow being trampled and crushed. I am a man, a man who needs to be valued and respected. A man with dignity and a man with needs. Let me go! Shut your mouth! Get I'll away take from me! Everything that matters to Shao Liang, and I will start with you. Ah! <laughs> Stop struggling! Let me go! Help! Don't move! Let me go!
see that. You've gotten over her. Was it because of, uh, Gawain, is it? Well, no, not because of her father. Okay, then. Hello? This is he. What happened? I'm on my way there now. To the hospital, and hurry. What's the matter? What is it? Zilian was beaten up. He's in the hospital. Let's hurry. Zilian! Are you alright? Father, what are you doing here? Why would you bother him with this? How did this happen to you? Huh? Is it serious? Where's the doctor? Mr. Liu, go get the doctor. Father, listen. Don't worry. These are just bruises and scratches. I'm well taken care of. Who would do this to you? Have you spoken uh, to the police? Father, it was just a childish conflict. It's really not big of a deal, so just let it go. But how could I let this go? My own son was beaten up. I simply cannot allow this. I won't let it go. Father, you haven't called me your son in a long time. You're badly hurt. It couldn't have been for no reason, right? Uh, Mr. Liu, I want you to tell me exactly what happened. Why did you drive Zil Yang to that horrid place? How did he get hurt like this? Mr. Lin wanted to sober up from the party. We drove to the suburbs. When we got there, he asked for water. I left to get some. When I got back, I found him lying outside the car. Are you? Father, it's nothing. Don't be too hard on Mr. Liu. It's not his fault. Don't be angry with him. What I'm concerned about is, is your health. Please don't worry, I'm fine. <laughs> You're always the more considerate one. You put others' needs first before yours. You also need to take care of yourself, okay? Well, you better get some rest now, my son. <sighs> While Ziliang is recovering, you will need to take care of the company in his absence. You can count on me. I will take care of everything while he's away. That's good to hear. Father, why don't you go and head home? I'll stay and talk to the doctor. All right. Thank you, Xiaoliang. What the hell were you thinking? Do you know that we almost got caught? Listen, whatever happened must be kept secret at all costs, okay? I no longer want to see you get hurt again. Tomorrow when you go to work, I want you to quit your job. You know I can't do that. If I lose this job, my career will be at risk. All this for Xiaoliang? He hasn't hurt you enough, Fatty? When it all began, sure, I did it all for him. But this time, I'm doing this only for myself. You're still shaken up about what happened. I have always dreamt of becoming a jewelry designer. Even without Xiaoliang, I must stay true to myself, right? So I... I must work harder. But there are so many jobs out there. Why stay at Xiaoliang's company? There's just too much politics, and you've paid the price for being involved. Wherever I work, there will always be politics. It is how it is. If I get scared and run away, every time a problem comes after me, then I will not be qualified to work anywhere else. Fair enough. You don't need my protection anymore. 
But you'll always be with me, right? Naturally. Because I'm your best friend. <sighs> oh no. I'm sure Lin Zil Young will get back at us. And he's going to fire me as soon as he sees me in the office. He's the one who should get fired because of what he did. Thinking about it makes me feel sick. <sighs> but you beat him up so badly, Lei Ming. Knowing him, there's no way he would let this pass. Fatty. Exclude me from the equation. The law will be on your side. I promise. He won't ever try to go near you again. I did everything that I can to escape, to make him stop and get away. I tried kicking him. I slapped him and grabbed his hair. But he kept going. Then all of a sudden you appeared. Like a miracle, you saved me. <sighs> what miracle? I activated the GPS locator on your phone. Whenever I need you the most, you appear. You're there to take me home. As long as I know you'll be there, every time I lose my way, I know that there's nothing for me to fear. So thank you for being my miracle. Count on it. It's late. Get some rest. Did you leave early last night with Lean Zillion? You told me not to provoke you, right? So it's better for us if we didn't talk. We are in the office, aren't we? And I asked you a question as your employer. Fine. I will answer your question as an employee. With all due respect, sir, everything that happened last night is none of your business. So please respect my privacy. <sighs> By the way, keep an eye on Mr. Lean. Something's wrong with him. Good, he asked about you. Why'd you have to be so rude? Hey, I bought facial masks for everyone. Thank you. Here, I know you've all been working so yeah, hard. Thank you. Here. <laughs> it's a thank must you. for every woman to take care of their skin. Thank you, Siwen. Well, let's do it you. for the sake of the company, and let's do it for ourselves. Put it on once a day for youthful skin. What you say? <laughs> well, now that everyone's here, I have an announcement to make. Your attention, please. Mr. Lean is in the hospital, so I'll be handling all of our department's work. Miduo, weren't you at the dinner party last night? What happened to Mr. Lean? Um, I don't know. I, I have no idea. What do you want, huh? Take it easy, man. If this whole thing goes public, you would be on the losing end. Don't you remember what you promised me? You told me that you'll take the money. Mm -hmm. And that you'll never come back for her. But what is this? Look at what you've done! I trusted you! Really? Is it that serious? Uh, what should we do then? Sue me for money, perhaps? That's a good idea, right? <laughs> Before you do, the terms of our agreement weren't legal in the first place. You're filthy. Nothing but filth. Whoa, that's kind of harsh coming from you. You know that I did this for you, right? 
You wanted a single lady who's also a star. I wanted to take advantage. That was the deal we made, man. But let me be clear, all right? I'm no idiot, my swindling friend. If you try to get rid of me by buying me off, you know what will happen. All of these photos will simply be released. All right. Now tell me, how much do you want? I'll prepare the money. Just relax, will you? Just take it easy. You won't be able to afford it, so I'll just take it myself. What are you talking about? What I want is Gao Wen. It occurred to me that being her boyfriend is way more profitable. That's something you can't give me. Stop daydreaming, okay? Gao Wen already has a boyfriend. Even if you two get back together, she won't mean it. <laughs> Come on. Didn't she tell you that their relationship is a huge scam, huh? I'm afraid you're the one being played by her. <laughs> what are you saying? Don't play naive. She told me everything. She is simply doing business with Xiao Yang. Oh, here's some unsolicited advice for you. Never underestimate Gao Wen's feelings for me and overestimate your significance to her. If you dare provoke me again, you'll just be on the losing end. Better believe that. <laughs> we'll see. Here's a final warning. I still have another card up my sleeve. I've kept it safe for a very long time. Let me tell you something. Even if you two get back together, you'll get nothing. Want to know why? Xiao Liang invested a lot in Gao Wen's latest film. If they break up, the investment is gone. Obviously, you won't get anything at all. You're the type of man who'd live off of a woman. Keep on dreaming. Done blabbering? Let's wait and see. Let's wait and see. Why, definitely. Get out of here. You first. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> oh. What's so important that you have to wake me up in the middle of the night? What's wrong? Take a look. It's an offer from Hollywood. For real? Of course it is. <gasps> when did you negotiate this? Why didn't you tell me? Just some recent progress. It was supposed to be a surprise. <gasps> Our company decided that you're going to Hollywood. It's just a minor role, but it's your springboard. So when do I leave? Well, the shoot <laughs> starts next year, but you'll need to master a certain twang in your English accent. I booked your ticket. You'll fly in a few days. I'll be leaving in a few days? That's right. But what about all of my projects here? I can't just drop them. Well, I wouldn't worry about those things at all. Sorry, I can't. Hold on a sec. What are you saying? You've been waiting for this all your life. What's stopping you now? I have my own plans. Your own plans? You mean yours and Chao Liang's, right? Or yours and that no good Han Bin's? How'd you find out about that? How did you... Well, now that you know, I don't have to explain it. Reject the offer from Hollywood for me, will you? I refuse to leave Han Bin. You belong in a loony bin. <sighs> you made me this way. In the past, you forced me to give up my relationship, and I compromised. But I've had enough. I want what I want when I want it. Seriously? You want to talk about the past? You lived in a tiny room you could barely afford as a model. I took you out of that world and gave you an opportunity. I paved the way for you to go from a nobody to a superstar. I gave you everything. <sighs> my success came from my beauty. Or maybe because I've got what it takes. What nonsense is this, huh? There are tons of girls more beautiful than you who'd give anything for this chance. And yet you would reject an opportunity that comes once in a lifetime? Hmm? I have been with you through thick and thin, Gao Wen. Completely devoted to you. After all these years, what I get in return is your betrayal. Why would you hide such a thing from me? Because I have a private life as well. You threw that away the day you chose to live in the spotlight. So you want love and freedom. You've decided to give up everything for one man. A star can shine bright forever. But once you fall in love, that's the end of it all. I'll give you one last chance to choose. Either you break it off with that Han Bin, or headline every celebrity gossip out there while paparazzis feast on your scandalous pictures. This will be your final bow, and Han Bin will pay for everything I lose. I have one question, though. Can he afford it? Hmm? Choose Hollywood, okay?
This will be your final bow, and Han Bin will pay for everything I lose. I have one question, though. Can he afford it? Love wasn't our problem, and neither was it other people's fault. The problem was the distance between us. You. You were born to become a star. But me? I'm just an ordinary photographer. Someone who can only look at you from afar. Then why did you decide to come back? Because I wanted to check on you. We have to end this. Arrange my schedule for Hollywood. Remember this day when you win an award. In the future, the decision you made today will take you there. And don't forget that I was a part of it, okay? I just want to leave. Let's not get ahead of ourselves just yet. With all due respect, sir, everything that happened last night is none of your business, so please respect my privacy. Mr. Shaw. I'm not in the mood. Leave me alone. Gowen is in trouble, sir. There must be a misunderstanding, clearly. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, hey, keep me in the loop. Just stay with it. I'll call you back. Isn't this odd? If no one was supposed to know, then why is it on the newspaper? Sweetie, sit down. Take a seat, please. Stop yelling. I'm begging you. Screaming won't change a thing. I decided to leave the country last night, and then today this happens. How do you expect me to stop yelling? Fair enough. I would do the same thing. Hey, let's forget about this nonsense and focus on a solution. You've been targeted by the media. You must release a statement, all right? Last night I ended it with Hanbin. What's there to explain? What's there to explain? What to say, what to say, what to say... Hey! I have an idea. Go to Shaoyang right now. When people see you with Shaoyang, this will fade away. I can't. I've embarrassed him enough, Jason. I can't involve him in this mess. But there is no other way for us to fix this. Go to him and ask for his help. You are trapped by the scandal. Gawen, you need his help. You better hurry. Head to Tassiro right now. <sighs> Gowen. I took some pills. I just wanted to say goodbye. Before I die, I hope I could see you. How's it going? Did you find anything on Gao Wen and Shao Liang? Why are you here? What if someone sees you? <laughs> so what? A few days with Gao Wen and you feel like a star yourself? Are fans following you around? Didn't think so. I hired you and paid you to report things back to me. I know that. I just need some more time to find some dirt on them. You were with her long enough. Didn't you get anything? Didn't she reveal anything that we can use? She just promised me that she'd break up with Chao Yang real soon. Other than that, I know nothing else. How did you know that there's a problem between her and Chao Yang? Intuition. Seems like you're a consummate actor these days. Don't tell me you want her back. Are you having second thoughts? 
There's nothing to worry about. She's already a big star now. Even if we were lovers once, do you think she'd choose me? All right, then. Remember this. If you can't dig up any dirt on them, just ruin them. The bigger the scandal and ensuing discussion, the better it will be for you and me. Are we clear? I'm not sure I understand. Why would you go through such lengths just to destroy the relationship? Simply because I hate someone. But I want to teach him a lesson. I just really wanted to see you again. I have to go, excuse me. Go in. Don't go. Please stay with me. Hanbin, it's over, okay? I know. But it doesn't matter, go in. Everyone knows about our relationship now. Tell them I'm your boyfriend this time. Allow me to stay with you. I will abandon everything for you. But it's impossible. We can't get back together. That's right. You'd never leave the spotlight simply for love. You would never give up your career for an ordinary guy like me. That's right. Because I love myself more than you. So what then? You want to kick me out of your life? <sighs> Pursue your dreams of being a superstar. But don't you ever forget. I took the photos that helped me make a name for you. And you've already abandoned me once before, Gawain. You never admitted to people that I was your boyfriend. Yes. I was a model. You took my photos, and you made me popular, but there's no place for you in front of the camera! <sighs> Consider this our final conversation. No, no, no. How on earth did they find me here? What now? What now? Hey, Gawain, Gawain, come out! Gawain, are you okay? Don't worry, I'm on my way. I didn't want to bother you, but I had to keep this from Jason. I heard reporters outside. We'll talk about this later. Right now, we need to get you out of here. Is that guy okay? He's drunk. If reporters get a hold of him, he's gonna talk. Photos of the two of you were published. Reporters are outside. This isn't a coincidence. What do you mean? Dude, you woke up just in time, huh? Let's talk a bit. You really had nothing to do with this? Then why are reporters outside? <laughs> There's no point arguing about this. Maybe some of the weeders called them. He thinks I did it. That's because you did. Stop it. We're already in trouble as it is. Don't create more, okay? Reporters are everywhere. We must find a way out. There's no need for that. We already have our solution right here. What? What is this? This can't be happening. How can she appear with that man? Please excuse me. I need to clarify this. <gasps> Mr. Shao, even if we clear this mess for Miss Gao, it'll be too late. What are you saying? That's not even Gao Wen. 
please say something. Hold on a second. Where is she? Hold on a second. Where is she? It's not Galwen. like it's over. Thank you for your help. It's nothing, but never do it again. <laughs> I'm surprised that you've become more considerate. I really appreciate it. Considerate? That's right. Hasn't anyone told you that? A desolate man showing consideration would often mean that his heart is opening up and that perhaps he's already falling in love. You know, I don't think we're at that level of intimacy to have such a serious heart-to-heart -heart talk like this just yet. Talking doesn't require intimacy. Intimacy can't ensure the heart. Even if you love someone else, you can still come and talk to me, all right? Aren't you heartbroken? You don't seem sad. student for Gao Wen? I tried to expose them, but there was no chance. You still gotta go along with the plan. Gao Wen would truly suspect I'm involved. Enough! You've wasted so many opportunities. You're useless! <sighs> Zhandong? Zhandong! What is it? Why are you screaming? What's the matter? Our son. Our son is in the hospital. Aren't you worried at all? I need him soup. Will you come visit him with me? His injuries aren't severe. There's nothing to worry about. Give me the soup. I'll go bring it to him later. Why don't you want me to see him? Still young is my son as well. Why can't I go to the hospital? A few days ago, you told me he needed to rest. He's been there for several days, all right? Why don't you want me to visit? Zilyang is the vice president. I'm sure he has other visitors in there as well. Now, if they see us, what do we tell them? How do we explain things to them? And besides, the doctor assured me, it's nothing serious, so don't worry about it. Now I get it. You're actually afraid of others knowing who I am. Hiding your identity is what you agreed to promise me before our marriage. I understand that you care about him. You're his mother and you want to see him. But I'm telling you, don't worry, okay? Xiao Shandong! Zilyang is your son as well, all right? For heaven's sake, he's in the hospital all alone! And you act as if you don't care! If he were Xiaoyang, would you be this calm? It's Zilyang we're talking about. So why mention Xiaoyang? He moved out a long time ago. So could you please just let him be? Oh, so now I can't even talk about him. The son of your other woman is your cherished treasure. He has always made Zilyang feel jealous and envious. Still, you choose him over Zilyang. Xiaoyang and Zilyang are both my sons. Do you think I'm an idiot? Then why did you promise Xiaoyang everything? And to this day, Zhandong, why are you so embarrassed to recognize us as your family? Do you remember our agreement? We both accepted all of it before we got married. We agreed that for as long as Xiaoyang is alive, he'd deny your existence. I'd never have to announce you. And that even if we had our own children, they would never have the same rights as Xiaoyang. You agreed to these things back then. So what are you bickering about now? You should never have agreed to marry me then! You're nothing but a tyrant, do you know that? I've taken care of your family for years. Have some decency and be grateful. You will regret this, Shandong. I will make you regret this! <sighs> Mr. Shao, is something the matter? Do you know about Gowen and that other guy? Well... From the articles, but they aren't true. You helped her hide it from me? I already knew about it even before it began. Do you actually think I'm as dumb as you are? I respect her private life. I'm not in a position to comment. Don't mention Gowen. Now I'm asking you, why did you lie? I didn't mean to lie to you, Mr. Shao. 
I thought about telling you, but you kept asking me not to mention Gawain. And well, besides, I can't just come up to you whenever I feel like it. Hey, listen. How can you still not know? I don't have feelings for Gawain because I care about you. What do you mean? Mr. Shao, hold on just a minute. You said you care about me. What exactly do you mean by that? Just forget it. I'm a mess right now. I refuse to be fooled by you again. Miroa, what I'm saying is, I'm not trying to fool you. You always, you always appear in front of me and I've got nowhere to hide. Even if I try to run, I end up in front of you. And it's just freaking me out. I haven't been bothering you, have I? No, you haven't. But you're always here, and I... Well, well, it's like this. I see you, and I can't explain why I can't stop thinking about you. You can't explain why? <gasps> oh, Mr. Xiao! Are you telling me that you're in love with me? Hell no. Am I hallucinating right now? Mr. Shao, can you say it again, please? Shut Do you up. like me or not? Am I dreaming right now? I want to hear you say it. ugly scandal, but you're drinking like you're the one in trouble. For a long time. I've been acting as your shield protecting you. Today I feel frustrated. That's why I had to talk to you. Cheers. Let's drink. Hey, relax. Take it easy, will you? What's the matter with you anyway? Did somebody break your heart? Let's drink to that! Why do you have to scream in my ear like that? Go and tell her that you love her! I can't! Because she is in love with someone else! Too bad. Listen, you're a man. This shouldn't be a big deal for you. As long as she's not married yet, you have a chance. As long as you're both alive, there's no reason to panic. You see, the thing is... I'm in love with my best friend, and I can't do anything. You're in love with her, but she likes someone else. Who's the woman, then? I'm in love with my best friend, and I can't do anything. You're in love with her, but she likes someone else. Who's the woman, then? No, I can't say. Because if I tell anyone, then I would lose her as a friend. <sighs> you know, when it comes to love, there are uncertainties, changes, or bad timings. Okay, even if everything seems perfect, Someone will eventually mess up someday. So what's the point here? Why bother with love? It's nothing but trouble. Cheers. Yep, right. Cheers. <sighs> if only I could be as careful as you, you know? 
Not yet. This is my place right here. Oh, come on. Up. Good night. I'm going to sleep. We're almost there. Come oh, on. Yeah. Just get up. We do need to get up. Just get up. Oh. You're almost there now. Come on. Just a few more steps. Oh, I can't do this. Oh, quit dragging me. I can oh. walk perfectly Watch it. Be careful. by myself. Stop dragging me around. I'm not dragging you. Why are we walking sideways? Will you please stop talking for a minute? Stay there. Just stand still, okay? Me? And don't move. Mm. Ah! <laughs> what did I ever do to you to deserve this suffering? Yeah. Come on. I can stand by myself. I know. Back off. <laughs> Stay still. Don't move. Stand right there. Hey, let me ask you. Do you remember when we were kids and we went to Ocean? We're here now. We're oh. home. We're home. Oh, we're home. No. Go and lock the I door. Won't. Why is this happening? I got caught on camera with a man this morning. And here I am in a hotel with someone else. I need a break. I used to protect you. You don't need me anymore. Naeming, I have something I want to ask you. Okay. That friend you were talking about, were you actually referring to me? Oh! But of course it was me. I mean, so many people are into me, so one more won't make a big difference, would it? But well, it makes sense that you and like it's me. It's already been so long. Why are you the only girl that I have eyes for? What? I can't hear you. <laughs> whoa, whoa. If only I could have known things would turn out like this, then I would never have chosen to be your friend from the beginning. It really is me. Um, we're here. Okay, I'll be going inside now. Um, Mr. Shao, I just want to clarify. You and I are actually what right now? Are we a couple? It's just as I said earlier. You may go now. It's just that I can't seem to grasp everything. Then there's also the thing between you and Gao Wen. Mido, you're asking too many questions. Just go and rest. Oh, right. Okay, then. Mirua. I can't explain everything now, but you don't need to feel guilty towards Gawain. She'll even give us her blessing once she finds out. Don't worry, I'll take care of the relationship that I have with her. For now, you just have to trust me. Give me some time. Wait for me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Hey, Fatty. Listen to me, okay? Something came up, so I wasn't able to come home last night. I... Don't worry, I'm okay with that. Oh, <laughs> is that so? I'll be home soon, so wait for me. He said that... Xiaoliang said that he liked me. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. I'm hanging up now. Bye! <sighs> Once rumors subside, notify Gowan's agency to go public with our breakup. All right, sir. Come in. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know you were busy. Oh, it's okay. Come on in. Oh. What is it? Um, well, it's nothing, really. It's just that I couldn't wait to see you. But there's this one thing I want to discuss with you. Mr. Shao, I will take my leave then. Don't let anyone come in. Last night thinking about it, I think that what we're doing isn't right. Gowan is a good friend of mine. How can I be doing this to her? What are you doing? Are you turning me down? Didn't I tell you to wait for me? I'll take care of it. You mean you're actually breaking up with her? It's not a breakup. It's all just an act. We were never really together. S seriously? Mm. It was all just an act? All this time I felt so guilty and everything was just an act? <sighs> is that a bad thing? Not at all. Not bad at all. <laughs> Mr. Shao, someone's here to see you. He says it's about Gowen. <sighs> Mirua, get back to her. Oh. For a superstar's boyfriend, I'd expect nothing less. Your office is stylish in its extravagance. If you've come just to annoy me, I'm afraid you're in the wrong place. I'm not interested in your stories. <laughs> Mr. Xiao, there's no need to be defensive. If somebody overheard what you said and found out that your affair is just an act, that wouldn't be good for you. Go on then. What is it you want? Fine. You're being direct, so I'm going to be frank as well. I'll allow you to buy my silence for this, but something this big won't come cheap. <laughs> Find another buyer. See if I care. Are you really okay with this story getting out? You really don't know me, do you? I will not be threatened by anyone. <laughs> oh, really? Then what if I... threw these in? Now, are you starting to feel a little threatened? <laughs> well, Mr. Shao, you like them? These aren't even the best ones. Look, any one of the many photos I have with me here can easily destroy Gowen's career. Also, everyone will realize that you've been cheated on. Oh, right. And isn't Gowen also your business partner or something? If the public finds out about this, you'll suffer some irreparable losses too. Wasn't she the love of your life? Love? Love is only for the rich and powerful, not for someone like me. See, in the end, there's no room for me in all this. Might as well use her to make some money. Speaking of, let me get something clear. She's endorsing your brand, isn't she? So just make her work harder so she could pay you back. <laughs> Why, you greedy bastard? Watch it now. I'm the man she's cheating on you with, remember? If we get into a fight, people will believe that the rumors are true. Tell me how much. Ten million. Ten million? Mm -hmm. Fine then. <laughs> Make that eleven million. Now get out.
there something wrong with Gowen? Mr. Shao. Mirua. Looks like I can't take you home today. I'm sorry. Hey, Mirua, come here. What did he mean by that? You have gotten real close lately. Why is he taking you home? We have work stuff to discuss. She's not mine. She's mine. She's not mine. Hi, Dr. Lei. She's mine. Which one was it again? She's not mine. She's mine. 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 Dr. She's Lay? not mine. <sighs> what is it? You've snapped at almost every nurse in the hospital today. Is something bothering you so much? As a man, there comes a time during every month when we feel so down and we get so moody and our emotions are a huge mess also. Our minds are messed up. What this means is If you're that feeling we... down and depressed, you can talk to me. Maybe I can be of help to you. True. Good thing I still have you, Shaman. Hey, tell me. If you liked someone and they said they loved you, what would you do? I... I love you too. Say what? Uh... <sighs> oh! What I meant to say is that I'd say yes to him, then I'd go out with him. But what if the two of you weren't meant for each other? What could I do to break you two apart? Why on earth would you even do that? Because if I'm really in love with someone, I'll want to be with him always, no matter what happens to him. Huh? <sighs> Dr. Lin, what's wrong? Hey! <laughs> Oh, great timing. Gawen will go down the red carpet and... Get out of here. Oh, oh, right, let's go. Go, 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 go. Come on, go, 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 go. Take your time. Have a nice chat. What do you want with me? Why are you making all of them leave? Why are you being so mysterious?
So you finally come. Do you love me? <laughs> you tell me. I've waited this long, right? Of course I do. Then why do you love me? You don't need a reason to love somebody. Fine. Let me give you one. Are these enough for you? You liar. So many lies and all of those aren't even worth 10 million or more! He told you everything, huh? I cannot stand being used by others. Why would you do this to me? So what then? What about you and Xiao Yang? You're using each other, but you're fine with that? I mean, I get it. You and I were never really meant to be together. But I'd rather you hate me than forget about me. <laughs> hate you? Why would I waste time hating you? If it's just money that you want, then get on your knees and beg for me to give it to you! Fine then. <laughs> That's really great. And now you're finally being honest with me, Gawain. Ever since your debut, you've always treated me like a beggar. Always. I'm not sure if you've ever noticed, but I'm a person, and I'm a man, and I have my dignity. Well, dignity is something you have to earn and fight for. If you don't work for it, why should I acknowledge your dignity? I stay up all night memorizing scripts, then the next morning at 5, I go to work exactly as scheduled to get a role I got so drunk that I threw up, and yet I still manage to smile, just so I could do my job, even if I never got the chance to spend time with a man I love. I earned everything I have through hard work, and you think I should give it all up for you? Fine. You figured it all out. It's true. I deceived you under the pretense of love. But however, have you forgotten you betrayed me for your career? So in the end, we never loved anybody but ourselves. You and I are similar to that extent. But you're a superstar. So give me 10 million as your breakup compensation. And don't worry. Once I have the money already, I'll never bother you again. And you can keep on being a superstar. Sounds good? Fine. Then beg for it. Kneel and I'll give you the money. Or you're not getting a single cent. <sighs> Gawain, you will regret this. I never do anything that I might regret. Fine. Then I have no other choice but to make you hate me. love myself more than you. So what then? You want to kick me out of your life? So you want love and freedom. You've decided to give up everything for one man. A star can shine bright forever. But once you fall in love, that's the end of it all. This is the job you chose. There is no turning back. You are here only because of all the choices you made. I promise. It'll be fine. Once I find Gawain, I swear I'll get to the bottom of all this. You! Hey! What are you doing? I'm trying to save your clients! You know as well as anyone that there's nothing we can do to save this. <sighs> True. Your partners are cancelling their contracts, and most of your offers have been withdrawn. And the advertisers, they want compensation. It's okay. Please let them know that. I'll compensate them. Hold on. We can't give up so easily just yet. Listen to me. I arranged a press conference. If you play along with me and offer an apology... Why should I apologize? Why am I the one apologizing to them every time? They're the ones who published my private pictures. They ruined my image, so shouldn't they be apologizing to me? Yes, 
I understand, yes. But now's not the time to discuss whoever's right. You must restore the public's faith in you. I've compromised way too many times. This time I'm not throwing in my dignity as well. I won't explain any further. You don't need to save me this time. Wait, are you just going to give up? After all you've done to get here? It's okay. I think it's worth it. <gasps> Wait, go in! I'm sorry. <sighs> Oh, these chocolate beans are my favorite, and they're on sale. Hey, hold on, honey, wait. Can we... can we get two bags of these? That's real mature, still eating snacks. You've had too much. Put it back. Oh, Cho Nung. And look, it's coconut scented. Buy one, get one. Sounds like a good deal. But we still have some left at home. Let's just get it next time. But there's only a bit of it left. Boy, am I thirsty. I'll just drink this. <laughs> no! Put it back. Wait till we get home. But I... Brazilian dietary tea? Free cup with every box? A free cup? Honey, look. We get a free cup. Should we get one? Wait! You're not getting this either? Wait, wait, wait up! Honey, listen. I'll start working as a delivery guy soon. <sighs> it's tiring work, but it pays really good money. Oh, wow, how thoughtful of you, honey. After making all those deliveries, I'll be coming home tired and worn out. So you'll cook for me, isn't that right? You don't really look like you need it. I'll be using these to make soup for my boss. It's not for me, then? Oh, so you want to impress your boss, huh? Good, that makes sense. Why, is your boss sick? He was hospitalized just very recently. Said he wanted soup. It's obvious he can't take care of himself. So I said I'd make him some. Your boss is a guy? My department always had a male boss. I've told you this before. Wait, then, so is your boss married? No, I don't think so. Why are you asking? And you wonder why I'm asking? He's a single man who asked you for soup. He must have a thing for you. You've never even made soup for me. How come you're making it for him? Because I'm doing it for my career. There's nothing between him and I, okay? Would you rather I spend my day doing nothing like you? Hey, I have things to do, too. Fine. Go find someone better, then. Are these all the files you have for me today? Mr. Shao took over your new product design, so... Who gave him that? The chairman passed on this project to me! It was the chairman who gave it to him. Aside from that, there are no new changes in our department. What about Miduo? What's she been up to? She's been acting strange these past few days. Mr. Shao dropped by to see her yesterday. I think there's something between them. And so it's happening. They're finally slipping up. <laughs> Mr. Lin, if there's something between them, what are you planning to do? Is there something particular you have in mind? Nothing. There's something going on between them, so I shouldn't move just yet. I finally got something on him. And now's not the right time to make my move. <sighs> Good job. You can leave now. Hope you get better soon, Mr. Lin. In today's news, a scandalous affair has been exposed. The famous actress Gawain has taken naked photos in private. These indecent photos have caused quite an uproar. It's been rumored the pictures were taken years ago, and the photographer in question is actually Gawain's ex-boyfriend. As of now, no one knows exactly how these photos were leaked to the public, or through what means they were released. No official response yet from Gawain or Shaolian. Tell the doctor... that I'm leaving. This is a girl to be mad for Somebody has some explaining to do. Fire, he has to do something about this. This is his mess. He has to clean it up. I trust that everyone has been briefed, so let's begin. You have a lot of explaining to do. 
Gowan's scandal is all over the news. How it's outrageous. You were her from the very beginning. I agree. We must do something exactly. about this. Exactly. This is an absolute disaster. What do you have to say for this? How can now like Gowan's gone down, down and taken the company with her as well. That's right. This is all your fault. Everyone listen to me. We are now facing a crisis. I don't want to hear whining or complaints. Give me some solid solutions. There's only one way out of this. To cancel your contract with her and announce that we're cutting all ties with her. Don't let her drag us down with her. Right, let's drop her. We should drop her now. I agree. First, my relationship with Gawain is my own private business. The board doesn't have a say in it. Second, thanks to Gawain's endorsement, we've achieved a 21% growth in sales. The benefits she has brought far outweigh the losses. And last, just so you know, as the Ciro's president, as the person in charge, and also as the voice of the chairman, I've decided to keep our partnership with Gawain. This is final, and I'll take no objections. Well, I object. Everyone, sorry I'm late. Mr. Xiao, I believe I just heard you mention about the chairman. Is he even aware about this crisis? What crisis? Everything's going just fine. Nothing's out of place. Of course I don't mean internally. I meant this scandal. Is this scandal really important to us? Mr. Xiao, I came all the way here despite my injury. I have your best interests at heart. So be angry if you will, but at least let me finish. Everyone, I suggest that the board take votes on this, so that we may decide together whether we keep Gawain or drop her. We're all in agreement. That's a good plan. Do that. Let's do good that. Plan. I like it. Yes. Right, right. We'll do that. How are things looking right now? Will you really cancel your contract with Gawain? I can't say for sure. But she wasn't the one who leaked the photos. Besides, she has done a lot for the zero. The decision lies with the board of directors. So don't give me that look. I know you've always had a company's best interests at heart, and you don't like it when other people break your rules. But can't you make an exception for her just this once? She's also a friend of ours. Don't just assume I haven't defended her in this. Is this what you think of me? But Gowan is... No more buts. I'm not in the mood to talk right now. You can leave. I'm sorry. I wish I could do more to help you out. Miruo. Mr. Lin. What's wrong? Why so surprised? I also work in this place, remember? You're here early, so... I came back because I missed you all. So I thought I'd hurry back and see you guys a little sooner. What's wrong? Are you still angry at me for what happened during that night? <sighs> you know, I actually can't recall much of what happened then. But I know I tend to get a bit crazy, and sometimes do very weird things after having had too much to drink, so maybe I scared you. And if that was the case, then I'm sorry. Please accept my sincere and utmost apologies. Please don't hold it against me. Consider it forgotten. That's good then. I'm your superior after all. We still have to see each other every day in this building. I think that you and I should at least be on friendly terms, don't you? <sighs> Sounds good. Because I heard the news. Yeah, you did, and the rest of the world. Are you okay? I'm fine. It's just that I've lost all of my gigs, and I can't go outside. I'm reduced to staying at home. How do you manage to get in? There are reporters outside. I guess I just kind of squeeze my way in. A true friend. I'm sorry. What are you sorry for? Um, I don't really know. 
But that's kind of what I feel now. Um, anyway. So if there's anything you might need my help with, or if there's anything that I can do for you, if you trust me enough, don't hesitate to ask me, okay? Hmm. Now let me think about it. There's one thing you can do for me. What is it? Come. <laughs> Go in! Go in! What are you doing here? Are you Where's looking Gawain? for Gawain? <laughs> Gawain? Look who's here! <laughs> what is going on with you two? Enough. Watch your step. Careful there. Sit down. Don't move. Don't move. Sit Don't down. move. Betrayed my love. Just stay still. Uh, uh, let go of my hair. Friend. Stop it. What are you doing? That's enough. Having fun. Sorry, Lay me. What? Lay huh? me. I already know your secret. All right, stop it. Can you please sober up? And you told me everything when you were drunk. Hey, watch what you're saying. I already know you like someone! What, Lainey? Huh? Is it true you like someone? And that person you like is... All right, enough. Shut it. <laughs> and that person is... And the person you like is... Me! <laughs> okay, then. I got a thing for you. <laughs> and thank goodness I fell for you, huh? <laughs> Let's sing the, the same song, the, the same song. <sighs> Hanbin, you're the man. I can't believe that you actually leaked her nudes. To tell you the truth, I didn't think you could actually do that to your first love. <laughs> if you'd been left and abandoned in cold blood, then tossed down to the very bottom of society and chained there for life, you would know that trivial things such as love are worth nothing at all. Oh, and Mr. Lin, you still look as if you're surprised by all this. I got this scandal out in the open and disgraced Xiaoliang. Isn't that what you wanted? Cut the crap. You called me here so there must be something that you want. That's right. This scandal seems to have gotten out of control. I can't get work anywhere in Shanghai anymore. You know, I've put everything that I had on the line to release this scandal just to help you out, didn't you? So you risked everything because you wanted to know how much you can get from me. <laughs> That's right, Mr. Lean. I like your straightforwardness. Here's the check I promised. <sighs> What's the meaning of this? The amount on this check isn't even half of what you promised me. Do you remember what I asked you to do? Humiliate Xiao Liang. Sure, he did bring Gao Wen down for good, but Xiao Liang? I still saw him at work this morning. He met this whole thing head on without even flinching. He put in such a big effort, but it didn't affect Xiao Liang one bit. And you dare ask me for money? You think you can just play me for a fool, don't you, pretty boy? Then listen well. Don't think I won't go running off to Xiao Liang. I'll tell him that you were the one behind all this. Well, I have strong evidence of you blackmailing Tassiro. I'm the company's VP. I can easily get the surveillance tapes, you know. You've been cornered, you amateur. Fine. So be it. Please listen to me. I don't want to talk to you right now. <sighs> What's 
going on between you two? I was just really drunk then, so I said some crazy things. Oh, you mean you blurted out the truth while you were drunk? Look, I'm not into her, okay? And besides, why do you care so much about who I like? Oh, I get it now. You're feeling a little jealous because I'm in love with someone else, is that it? I don't really mind that you like Gawain. I'm upset because you've been in love with Gawain the whole time and you never told me about it. We're best friends, Lei Ming. We're supposed to share each other's secrets. Huh? I thought we agreed to share everything. You're in love with Gawain and you didn't tell me, so of course I'm mad. Oh, is this what it's about? And also, Gawain is a close friend to both of us. So if you really want to go for her, I can totally help you out. And on top of that, Gaon's ex-lover just betrayed her. She's devastated because of what Han Bin did to her. Someone has to be there for her. Now listen to me very closely. She's not the one I'm in love with. Hey, don't hide things from me. You think I wouldn't know if you liked her? Do me a favor and take care of her for me, okay? What do you mean by that? A favor to you? <sighs> I've given it a lot of thought. If I hadn't helped hide the fact that Hanbin came for her and kept you from chasing him away, maybe everything would have turned out differently for her. That's why I feel like I should make it up to her. <sighs> I've given it a lot of thought. If I hadn't helped hide the fact that Hanbin came for her and kept you from chasing him away, maybe everything would have turned out differently for her. That's why I feel like I should make it up to her. But it was Gao Wen who chose Han Bin, right? Why would she blame you for that? I'm just feeling guilty, all right? Because I know I shouldn't have these feelings towards Xiao Liang. And after that thing with Han Bin, I feel so much guiltier. Look, since you really like her, why don't you go over there and help her out? Wouldn't that make up for what happened and make everyone involved happy? Mm. I hate quit poking me. Yeah, all right, all right, all right, I'll do it! You'll start dating her? Hey, don't push your luck. I'll go and look after her as a friend. After all, you already have Xiao Liang, so you won't need me that much anymore. Oh, come on, you'll always have my support. Just give it all you've got like I did, and for sure you'll win Gowen over. <laughs> come on, Ming Ming. Ming Ming, Ming Ming. Ah, don't provoke me. Cook some food. I'm hungry. How dare come you? Come on, Ming Ming. Uh, Ming Ming. Uh, ah! Come back. Come back here. Come back. Well, I was so bored at home, so I thought I'd drop by to check on you. Well, I'm still alive. Here, drink this, then let's have lunch. I have a shoot this afternoon. If I eat, I'll look so bloated. Are you seriously still worried about looking good on screen? Then try to sober up and have a meal. Normally I would, but this is the only job I have left. I mustn't lose that. You know it'll be chaotic out there. Do you really have to show up there? Of course I have to. I'm an actress. It's my job to act. Speaking of which, my assistant still hasn't shown up. <sighs> the number you dialed cannot be reached at the moment. Phone's off. Fine. I'll drive there myself. Hold it. Uh, uh. Don't worry. Have some porridge first. I'll be your assistant. Give it here, I'll open it. <sighs> Great. You'll get a reward for that. Huh? And what's that? A fuel card. Thank you, my lady. You're welcome. Okay. Hey, wait. Does my hair look all right? Well, it looks carefully combed. Quite elegant. And my face? Well, it still looks uh, beautiful. What about my clothes? Do they match? They look... awesome. So awesome, it's blinding. Gosh, you're just so full of it. I should get out before it gets permanent. <laughs> hey, don't forget to open the door! 
Yeah. See you around. Hi, <laughs> after you, my lady. So when do I get the fuel card? I just wanted to know. He's funny. Whenever that director sees me, he gets all excited. Well, you've got some nerve to show up here. We've removed all your scenes. Didn't Jason tell you? Now get out before they see you. Uh, but sir, I can still play the role. Now just wait a minute here. The only reason she came here is because she's being professional, even when it's torture for her to appear in your series. We don't care if you replace her, but that doesn't give you the right to disrespect her. As for all of you here, from now on, don't ever try to get in touch with her again. She has no time for losers. What? Who the heck Who are the you? Who the heck are you? Huh. Uh, uh, Come on, love. We still have two uh, more films to shoot today. Hey! Hey! Uh, uh. Keep going. Don't look back at him. This could be the last job I'll ever have. Then leave it with your pride and honor intact. Yes, that's it. So, why weren't you at the office? Look, about that scene you made at the set, what exactly happened? <laughs> it wasn't that bad. I just don't want to work with that director anymore. <sighs> Good grief, you're exasperating. After what happened yesterday, you still get to laugh about it. Well, just like what you told me. I was born to be a star, right? So how will I be applauded for it if I don't take things in a positive light? <sighs> All right, so tell me, what's the company's plan now? You'll have to stop working for a while. We'll discuss it when the whole thing blows over. You know, I used to think you weren't getting enough exposure then. And now I wish I would just wake up from all this. I wish it were all a nightmare. <sighs> when I wake up from all of this, my acting career will already be over. But honestly, the company won't need me anymore. Now that I've been suspended, right? Okay. I still have the looks and the brains. I'll come up with something else. Frankly, acting has been a waste of my talent and my time. Sure. Don't lose hope yet, okay? There's still hope for you. Tassiro hasn't cancelled your contract. Here, sweetie, get up. Come on. What? See that? You're still a stunner. And Xiaoliang's still your boyfriend. He's going to save you from all this. And you're gonna rise again. <laughs> Surprisingly, he's been the most supportive one in all of this. <sighs> you're right. He chose the right man. Well, I should be going now. Hold on. Go in. I know how much you love acting.
Welcome back, Dad. News sure travels fast, even across the ocean. Don't you blame this on Ziliang. If you didn't try to stop this mess up, just how long do you intend to protect that woman? Gawain's my girlfriend, so it's my responsibility to protect her. Our company has just been humiliated by the scandal of that woman. And now you come and tell me that she's your girlfriend? I told you even back then that that woman came from a questionable background. Your relationship with her is unacceptable! Please, Father. Don't be mad at him. Try to understand him. I can speak for myself. Don't meddle with my affairs. That will be enough. The company wishes to terminate the contract of Gao Wen. So, why haven't you signed it yet? It hasn't reached my desk yet. I will not hear any more excuses. Terminate her contract immediately and publicly announce your breakup. There is no place in the Shao family for an embarrassment like her. Father, wait! Father! So your responsibility is to protect her. Now that is something that I would call true love. Well, you can love whoever you want. Too bad your love contract's about to expire. But I guess you need to learn a lesson. The more you want to protect someone, the more danger they bring to your life. As long as I'm around, no one can ever harm Gawain. Who says I was talking about her? I don't care about someone outside Tessiro. It's the one inside who matters. And you can't protect her either. <laughs> Gosh, Mr. Shao. I didn't know you were such a player. It's terrible. Since Gawain got into trouble, our company suffered as well. Our performance has gone down. I even heard that the chairman came back in a hurry. And he wants Mr. Shao to break up with Gawain. Seriously? That means Mr. Shao will be single and might pick one of us. Still, I'm sure that Mr. Shao must be feeling stressed about the state of the company. The worst part is that he's being mentally tortured by Gawain's cheating. So he lost both in business and love. Right, and it's all Gawain's fault. She acts like a superstar when she's nothing but a cheap skank. No different from any low-class whore. Who are you calling a low-class whore and a cheap skank? Do any of you personally know Gawain? If you don't, then stop bad-mouthing people you don't know anything about. Are you all right? Did you just get scolded by the chairman? Or are you being pressured by the company? You have to resign. Why should I? I'll refer you to a better position with better wage in another company. Uh, I don't want that. Why do you have to keep pushing me away whenever you're in a crisis? Even if I can't help, why can't you just allow me to be by your side? You'll do me a big favor if you just left. <gasps> but I can't leave you at a time like this. This year has been my dream job, and I would rather stay here. Miduol, if you don't mind, I need to talk to him alone. Do you think it's wise to come here? What if the reporters see you? Let's end it. Actually, I'm surprised that you never mentioned about terminating the contract. You see, when you're on the top, it gets hard to tell who your real friends are. It's only when you're facing troubles that you can distinguish the real ones from the fake. So thank you, Xiaoliang. You've been there for me. But now, it's about time that we ended this charade. <sighs> Look, I'm the only one left you can count on here. If you give up on us, you'll lose everything. When I went to Hanbin that night, I knew that this would happen. <sighs> I don't wish to interfere with your personal decisions, but I'll tell you again. Think hard about this. It's time for us to face the real world. <laughs> Let's break up, boyfriend. 
I'm impressed. You've changed a lot. <laughs> Have I? You've changed too. You must be in love with someone to change like that. Bye-bye. We appreciate everyone here for coming today. You see, Mr. Shao and I have an important announcement for you. We have officially parted ways. During the past few months of us being together, we've shared many wonderful times with each other. We appreciate each other so much that it's almost regretful for us to have to part ways. But Mr. Shao and I will still remain good friends. I just hope that he doesn't have to pay for the issues that I am now facing and that you all continue to support Desiro. Gawen, did you break up because of the photo scandal or your affair with Han Bin? Mr. Shao, was it your decision to break up with her? Trust me, there's no one between me and Gawen. And what happened was something from her past. Although we broke up, I request you not to publish those pictures of her, or I'll help Gawen press charges against anyone who does. Gawen, is this your last time to face the media? Are you quitting showbiz? Life's a drama, and none of us really gets to read the final draft of our lives. As for what my future holds, let's see what will happen. Thank you. Ah, sorry everyone, but the press con is now over. Come on, sweetie, let's get dressed. Mr. Shao, we should go now. Come along, go sweetie. Go 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 Are you still in touch with Hanbin? I'm sorry. No comment. The interview's over. I'm sorry. My goodness, is going. Oh no! Go Get out of the way! Stay away from her! Hey, are you alright? Fine, but please don't look. I don't want you to see me like this. Something I can do for you here? What can you do for me? All the years of hard work and recognition I once had has simply been torn to shreds. I've lost my only career. No, Lehimi, please. I just want to be left alone. I don't want to look weak in front of you. And pride is all I have left. Fine. But if you need me, just give me a call, all right? <laughs> what did I do to deserve that kind of horrible treatment? What's up? Hmm? Why are you back here? How's Gao Wen? Not good. And she told me to leave. You left her all alone there? Well, with that sort of thing, not even the closest friend can help her. No matter how difficult it gets, she'll have to find that strength within herself to get over it. She must really be hurting right now. Hey, aren't those the materials from the jewelry design workshop you have there? Yeah, I just wanted to review them. They would be useful later on. So does that mean you got promoted? Not really. That being said, I must now try to grab this opportunity to learn more about this craft. So Xiaoliang would find me indispensable. What did Xiaoliang say? 
Has he offended you again? How bad was it? He told me I should resign, since things are getting complicated at the office, and that it was all for my own good. Oh, come on, that's just an excuse. Xiaoliang obviously feels bad about your confession, which is why he's now trying to get rid of you. You're kidding me. Why would I kid about that? I used to play that game too, and a lot of girls would fall for it. Right. And you would always have to be wearing that look of innocence and act like you're on their side, right? Well, yeah, since in a way that helps soften the blow. I mean, I mean, I just can't tell the girl that I've grown tired of her. That's heartless. Oh, wow. If that were the case, what should I do about it? Now listen here. <sighs> Among the girls I broke up with, do you know who I like the most? No idea. It's that one girl who never said a word and walked away without looking back. Gosh, she must have grown sick of it. That's precisely the point here. She made me feel like I lost a good thing. If I were you, I'd stop obsessing about Xiaoliang. And if he ever offends you again, then hand your resignation. Never look back. No way. Why not? Don't you believe me? I'm your love guru, am I not? <sighs> then you ought to understand that love can also exist where there's mutual trust and admiration for each other. Since Xiaoyang sees nothing he can trust or admire, I'll have to learn this craft to win him over. Anyway, Guru Lei, I appreciate it. You keep preaching about the mysteries of love, because you're quite knowledgeable about love. Unfortunately, dear Guru, you don't have all the answers. Oh, all right, so you think you've grown smarter? I base my advice on the teachings of Plato. Hey, you dropped something! Fatty! Why did you have to leave? Let's keep chatting! Excuse me. Ten more cans of beer. You've had enough. Just look at yourself. You're wasted. I already called Shu and over. She'll be here soon. Why'd you do that? Well, why'd I... you have to call her over? Hey, oh, what's going oh, on here? Goodness, you're here. Shangnan has been drinking all day and bursting into tears. When customers come in and they see him in that state, they would leave. I'm losing a lot of money here. I'm really sorry, sir. I'm going to bring him home. Has he paid his bill yet? How I'm much do we owe? 35 yuan for the food. And he also owes me money for the internet cafe. Let's round it up to 200 yuan in total. Too bad your money can't buy you a better man. I hope you guys can still fix this. Thank you, sir. <coughs> Shangnan. Shangnan! What? Why are you here? Shouldn't you be at the hospital? I've been working all day. Do you think I'm not tired enough yet? I'd rather just go home and rest and not have to look after a loser like you. You have a job, yet you'd rather play computer games. Is that really the kind of life you want to live? Do you want me to lose all faith in you what? until I finally give up? Okay, time to move. <sighs> Maybe I shouldn't leave just yet. <sighs> no, I'd better go home. <sighs> yeah, not now. Dr. Lei! I'm sorry, the clinic's closed. Can we go out on a date? What are you doing here? Come on, let's go on a date. You mean you and me are going on a date? But why not? Because it's weird? Well, you're my love guru, right? You have to tell me how to behave. Act like my boyfriend, just for one night. Oh, I'm sorry. Cheers. I'm not saying this. Wait. Are you sure I should take Xiaoyang here for dinner? Yes, I'm sure. Come on, sit down. Just relax. Look around you, hmm? For an open-air restaurant? This place is quite good. It's unpretentious and the food's tasty. <laughs> Are you sure of that? Don't you believe me? All right, then. I'm gonna prove it. 30 skewers, please. Sure thing. <sighs> yes, I'm sure he's going to enjoy eating this. Uh-oh, Fatty. See that couple? 
You won't even feed your own date here. How will you fare with Xiao Yang? Oh, I can do that. Look at her. She's watering his mouth. Come on. Mm -hmm. Is it not? I don't know. Is it? Gently. Can't you be more gentle? That's it. Satisfied? Yes, I am. <laughs> All right. Since we're rehearsing here, we should get another batch. 30 more skewers, please. All right. Make it 50. Got it. Mm -mm. But we almost have 30 pieces here. Well, since you're training me how to behave, let's just keep practicing. Here, we can have that. Hey, wait, you're supposed to feed me. Come on. Uh. Mm. This is meant for Xiaoyang. Mm. We're only rehearsing. Seriously, do lovers really have to cling to each other like frosting on a cake, even when they're just shopping like this? Of course they have to. No one can pull them apart, and guys like their girls clinging onto them. Now stop complaining about a stiff neck. Fine, then I won't, but can you at least carry this shopping bag for me? Well, you're supposed to act like you're the shopper here, and that's a lady shopping bag. Why, aren't you planning to shop? I will. After, After you. you. Huh? Uh, Lee, get out of the way! Just get out of the way! Oh no! What? Are you all right? <gasps> huh? I'm so tired. You know, Fatty, in my opinion, we need to do more of these love sessions. Well, if you don't mind teaching me more, I'd be glad to learn them. Are you up for maybe one lesson a week then? Wait, will you charge me? Well, of course I'll charge you. What makes you think that you're learning them for free? So you're making me pay. Oh, yes. Say that to me again. <laughs> uh Uh, excuse me, please, but I think I need to shower now. <laughs> what do you want? Uh, I, I forgot to take this. <laughs> <laughs> Come in. Mr. Lean, you asked to see me? The Tessero Design Archive's in there. I want you to study them. Me, sir? Yes, because I want you to be a part of the new design team. I'll be on the new product design team, sir? Why not? Is that surprising? Perhaps it is a stretch for a regular assistant. But you're no mere assistant, because you are talented. <sighs> What's the matter? Having second thoughts? Well, I never thought that I'd ever be a part of that. Me too. Well. I give fair chances to our employees. So if you achieve more at the design department, I'd be very thrilled. You'll design for Tessiro. Just think about it. Thank you, Mr. Lean. Me too. Well. The archive? Mr. Lean, I'm all set for the meeting. You're not going. Miruo, get ready. You'll be the designer's rep at the meeting. What? But I know little about it. Relax. It's a piece of cake. It's just a simple meeting between the two executives here. Just take notes while you're there, all right? Come on. Advertising. <sighs> 
I'm really sorry to have kept you all waiting. Let's begin. In today's meeting, we'll be hearing from the various departments what their views are regarding the new product. There will also be a brief discussion about the product development, as well as the marketing strategy that will be applied once the product is released. That's it. Mr. Shao, Mrs. Liu just made a new proposal for the marketing strategy, which I will send to each department heads through email. As for the other proposals, I'll send them after the meeting. Mr. Shao? Mr. Shao? What is it? Do you have any special requirements from the design department? No, not really. Then I'll be sending my team straight to the sales center for inspection, all right? Let's wrap this up for now. Cancel all my afternoon appointments. But you have a golf game with the big clients and... Just do what I tell you to do. I'm not paying you to question my decisions. I'll be heading straight to the sales center, all right? Yes, sir. I heard you've been doing very well here. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Listen, which among these are the best sellers in the past two weeks? This one, this one, and this most especially. Its sales increased by 10% in the last month. Hmm. So the sale of that piece increased by 10%? That's right. Why do you always follow me? Um, I'm sorry, but I was only trying to learn from the way you work here. Oh, really? Listen, everybody knows you're Mr. Shao's favorite girl. I've never relied on anyone, and I hate those who toady the boss. We both have nothing in common. So please, stop following me. But you've got it all wrong. You don't have to explain a thing. If my boss hears about this, I'd be penalized. That's fine. You can have this counter. I'll find another one. Um, what else is there? Oh, well, this one here is quite popular. Mr. Shao. You just got out of his candle. They'll be caught off guard. Are you sure about this? Catching them off guard is the only way to know the truth. And I'm tired of all the pretenses. Which section do you want to see first? I need to find someone first. Someone? Hi, welcome to Tessera Jewelry. What would you like? Hey, that ring right there. That one. Oh, that one. It's a Tessera ring from last season, created by Lee Siwen. May I look at it? It's quite popular. It has a great design and the price is affordable. It's almost sold out and that's the last one we have. It looks divine. It looks great on you, ma'am. We have an anniversary promotion, so you can buy that ring at a special price. All right, just give me a second while I make a call. Hello, Shangnan, come to the shop. The jewelry shop, have you forgotten? Hurry! Write the number as well. Mr. Shao. Uh, Mr. Shao. Mr. Shao. I heard that the sales have dropped since the Gawain scandal. It's true that the sales dropped, sir, but you have nothing to worry about. It's temporary, and all of us here are doing the best for you and the company. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> oh. oh, what a surprise. You're also here. Why don't you follow me and take notes while I check out our sales here? I still have another job to do right now. Disobeying the boss's order? <gasps> oh, never. Mr. Shao. Come on. Hi, Shengnan. Over here. Why are you dressed like that? What? This is the uniform we have at work. Why did you call me here? Come sit here. 
Remember this ring? The one I designed last year. I thought you would recognize it at first glance. <sighs> well, you've designed so many, it's hard to keep track. Well, it's the last one left, and it's on sale. What? Is that why you called me over here? I had to leave a lot of work behind. I have to get back there. You have to buy me this ring. It's very special to me. As chief designer, this was my first creation. And besides, you've never bought me a ring. So how much is it? With its discount price, it's now only worth 8,500 yuan. Are you serious? <sighs> Please excuse us. Why do you have to yell? Buy it for me. But that's worth two months of my wage. Well, so what if it is? Don't you want to spend your money on me? Look, it's not that I don't want to. It's that I don't have it yet. Hey, Seyun. I'm sorry about this. Seyun, wait up. Welcome, Mr. Shao. Wow. It's beautiful. You like that one? It's too expensive. May I look at that? Take it off now. Huh? It doesn't suit you. Hand it here, miss. Right here, miss. Thank you, ma'am. Seyuan? Seyuan! Why are you doing this? Why are you making a big fuss over a ring? Because I want to have it! Why don't I get to have things that other women have? What wrong have I ever done? I've been such a hard worker all my life. I'd even feel ashamed when I don't end up as the best. Why did things between us change since we came to Shanghai? It's not the place that caused it. It's you.
Mr. Lean, what are you doing here? Just passing through. Well, feeling better now? I could buy some pills for your hangover. Well, feeling better now? I could buy some pills for your hangover. No thanks. You don't have to do this, Mr. Lean. This concerns work, so I just did everything you asked. <sighs> Is this really what you think of me? I know my place, sir. I have to be honest with you. You can be of some use to me. But you're not useful enough for me to make me want to win you over. Do you pity me? It's sympathy. Well, I don't need your sympathy. You're a brilliant woman. You must know how capable and accomplished you are. But then there's your boyfriend. Frankly, he does nothing but weigh you down. I don't think my boyfriend is weighing me down. Please respect him as you respect me. I only want you to see the truth. To know yourself better. You have to decide your boyfriend or your career. You can't have both, that's all I'm saying. I've told you this already, it's not up to me! No, it is. Remember, we're very much alike. The life you really want to lead, I can guide you to it. I'm sorry, Mr. Lean. I drank too much. I've been trying to reach you all day. Why did you ignore me? How much have you had to drink last night? What's going on here? The sun is up. Look, it's another new day. Yesterday has come and gone. If you insist on staying with all the curtains closed, you'll never see the sunlight again. And in such a gloomy room, you won't get better. I thought you were an obstetrician. When did you become a philosopher? I am actually both. Every day I help deliver babies. So life is my expertise. Come on. Time to get up. Get up now. Go shower. And get dressed. I'm taking you out in a bit. Move. Where are we going? Come on. We're going out for some fresh air. Will you look at yourself? All right. Get up. <sighs> Why do you suddenly care? I'm feeling down too, so I needed to be with someone, okay? Feeling down because of what happened to me? Very you... well. Wait for me here while I change. Be careful. Watch out for that bottle cap over there. This place is expensive. It's okay, it's one of my favorite restaurants. In fact, people in my line of work get together here all the time. I usually sit... Hey, someone's sitting on my spot. Stop being silly, huh? Your spot. No, seriously, it's a good spot. There's a balcony on the next floor close to it. And if you happen to take a photo of my face from there, it's like the face of an angel looking down upon all the commoners. It really is a perfect spot. But we are so high up. How can anyone get a picture of you from outside? I'm telling you, there's a balcony right there. You famous people are so weird. Hang on. Oh, waitress, waitress, come here. Ah, 
Yes, ma'am? That table over there is my usual spot. Please clear out that table for me. Uh, I'm sorry, Miss Gao. We can no longer reserve that spot for you. Please take a seat elsewhere. Huh? What do you mean by that? Uh, do me a favor and go get the manager. We're good friends. I'm sorry, but it was our manager's decision. <laughs> I think there must be some mistake here. I know your manager. He personally hung my picture on the wall over there to help promote the rest. It's not there anymore. Just go get him for me, will you? I'm really sorry, but I, uh, can't help you with that. What's so difficult about calling your manager? Uh, I told hey, you hey, we're listen. friends and... Miss, I'm sorry. We're fine. You can go now. Uh, go on. All right. Go. Hey, wait. I'm still a customer. Even if it's you're busy, right. you still Let's have... Well, well, that's well. Is really... This is a surprise. Look who's here. If it isn't the superstar, Miss Gao Wen. Oh, hello, Bing Bing. Long time no see. I haven't been out lately, but I see you're getting very popular online. Yes, that's right. But you're more popular. Everyone's still dying to get a hold of your photos. I really don't know why. <sighs> I know, but it's a risk I have to take as a consequence for being famous. <laughs> but you know what? I truly admire your courage. You still have the guts to show your face after what has happened. I see you're wearing those old clothes. What happened? All your sponsors abandoned you? Can't afford to buy new ones? <laughs> Wait. I've seen your face somewhere. Yes, I'm in the drama. Oh, I remember her. It was in one of your TV shows. I think you were the female lead there. And uh, in one of those scenes, I remember you were standing next to a woman who had a big face. And I think she was the maid. That was you, right? Oh, wow, I can't believe it. Look at you. I mean, on TV, you look just like all the other women out there. Forgive me, I didn't recognize you right away. I'm so sorry about that. But I'm a huge fan of the shows you're in. In fact, hey, how'd she get... Because her skin looks so good. She looks better in person. She doesn't look like she's in her 50s at all. Um, have you had enough? Well, I, uh, uh, uh... Are you done now? Not quite, but all right. Gawain, it's not my business, but the type of men you're going out with keep getting worse. Then again, considering your situation, uneducated and thugs like this one here suits you. What? Who are you calling a thug? Well, this man, obviously. Apologize to my friend no right way. now. No way! And why are you being so defensive? Hey, did you also take some photos of her? Or do you have videos of her as well? Why don't you show what you have to everyone? I'm sure they'll be interested. No! <laughs> Say that again, you tramp! How dare you slap Give me! Give me a reason why I shouldn't! Don't think I'm not a threat to you just because you're older! You deserve to be slapped! Stop, stop, stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Let's just leave, Trump. okay? Let's go! Let's go! You want a piece of me, Skank? Why did you drag me away from her? I still want to fight her! Get in! What is wrong with you? Didn't you hear what she said? How can you just walk away? You already slapped her. What more do, do you, you want? Do you think I wanted to do that? Didn't you get the hint? Didn't you see me doing like this earlier? I thought this meant get her! It meant let's leave! I don't care. I'm not through with her yet. Sit still and don't move. I don't know how to put up with you. Do you realize how selfish you look? Then why did you drag me here? I'm still hungry. So what? You have to eat here all the time? They'll even charge you for just breathing. Let's eat somewhere cheap. We can't! If we do that, people are gonna look down on us. So, let's go back and... You've made up your mind to go back up there just to beat her up? You don't care about the consequences? You don't? Well, all right. Get out of the car. Come on, come on, get out. Let's go, come on, hurry up. Hmm? Come here, come here. Huh? Stand still, don't move. Aren't you the glamorous one? Picking fights with her and that waitress? What were you thinking? When's this gonna end? Listen to me. You are not the queen of the world, okay? You only have two options. One, you come with me. We will eat somewhere else, or two, you can stay here. But I am leaving. So are you staying? I'll count to three, okay? One. Three! <sighs> hey! Hello! That was a little too quick, wasn't it? You a pro? She said I couldn't afford new clothes, so we're going shopping! <sighs> Uh. You're a doctor and you can't even count. Three does not come after one. Are you saying I'm dumb? Just drive, we're in a hurry. Hey, hey, hey. Do you have to buy a lot? And you always okay. have to shop for clothes like this. You got so many already. Except for those, I'll take everything on this rack. Okay. What? But you want all of these? Are yeah. you nuts? What do you need all of these for? 
I'm rich. I can do whatever I want. Miss Gal, what? these are the season's latest design. Take a look. The latest? I'm telling you, they're gonna go out of style soon, so you shouldn't bother. Huh? I'll take all of these. Great. What? <laughs> Miss Gao, I'm sorry, but your card was rejected. Ah, uh, maybe this has too much money in it. <laughs> your machine must have a limit. Use this one. This should yes, be good. <laughs> Miss Gao, this one was also declined. I suggest that you talk to your bank first and inquire about your credit limit. <laughs> How's that even possible? Just a second. Hello? What is going on with my account? Why is it completely empty? Oh, okay. Uh, Miss Gao? Your total bill is 234,800 UN. Wait, what? How much? How much is it? How's this worth 200,000? What a ripoff! Wow! Look who's here! You're shopping too? <laughs> so am I. Lucky you. Well, since you're here, I'll let you pay for my stuff. I can't. What's with that look? I really can't. Even if I can, I wouldn't. But I have no money. What should I do? That's easy. Just return everything you bought. Keep your voice down. I can't. I but this is the way I talk, so... Please, I said keep your voice down. I'm a superstar. What will people think of me if I return everything I bought? Who cares what they think? What's that got to do with you? Oh, it would make me look bad. You return it. Cool. Wait, what? what doing? Why should I? I'm your friend, not your assistant. Besides, I told you not to buy all of these. This time you're on your own. Let go. You just said you didn't want to look bad. Let go. And don't you touch me. Stay there. Don't touch me. Let go. <sighs> your new products for the season sucks. I don't want them anymore. I'm leaving. Shopping too? So am I. I'm buying some stuff. What did you get? Hmm? Stop it. It's not even funny. Back when I was still a star, they groveled in front of me like dogs. But now that I've fallen, everyone's gone. Food liquors! There's no point in getting angry. Let's talk about your bank cards. How come your account's empty, huh? Maybe even the banks turned their backs on me. That doesn't make any sense. You're a superstar. You make more in a day than I do in a year. So how is that possible? Where did the money go? I really didn't spend that much. I just bought some new clothes, shoes, bags, and jewelry. But you see, appearances are very important for an actress, so I can't go out wearing something I've worn before. <sighs> but you must have some savings, right? Mm, when I was young, all of my relatives treated me very well, so I bought them houses and cars. I mean, I'm a superstar after all. I can't go back home empty-handed, right? Although I make a lot, I never had any savings. Besides, after the scandal, I had to compensate my sponsors too. Mm. What about your other investments? My biggest investment is in myself. Good luck. Wait! What now? I've maxed out my credit cards. Why don't you ask those nice relatives of yours? Mm. Stop whining! Just relax. I'm still your friend. I won't let you go through this alone. Right. I know a way you can make some money. Really? How? Come on. There's a limit to what I'm willing to do, okay? Don't get any gross ideas! Hey! Hang on! Wait for me! Hey, you! You're gross! You're so gross and you disgusting! I know what you're thinking! Is this what you want? Is this what you want? Hey, huh? hey. Come back here! Mr. Lei, buy and sell of second-hand cars are not doing too well. With regard to Ms. Gao's car, we've already given you the best price. 
I'm sorry we can't go any higher. I know, but... Wait, you're selling whose car? You're selling my car? When did I agree wait, to wait, that? Wait, hang on. I didn't... Excuse us for a while. Right. Relax, just calm down, okay? I've thought of selling your car, because if you don't sell it, how will it be possible for you to pay your credit card bills? What? Uh, if I sell my car, what will I drive? A different car. Ah, uh, <laughs> how very thoughtful of you to think that. It's time for a new car. You know what? There's this Ferrari I want. It's gorgeous, especially its shape. Oh, its beauty fits me perfectly. Let's go. Oh, wait. Let's drop the Ferrari for now. I've chosen a car for you. Come on. Are you sure they sell good cars here? Of course they sell amazing used cars here. Come on. <gasps> Come on. Well, here it is. Just take your time. <sighs> Are you sure this is an amazing used car? Huh? It is quite amazing. Because for you, I think this car means a whole new experience, right? It has a lot of special features. It's got everything a Ferrari does and everything a Ferrari doesn't. Like a row of back seats and a higher clearance. It can go everywhere a Ferrari can and even reach places a Ferrari can't. Ah. Uh. What's wrong? Hey, wait a second. Listen to me. You have no job, you have no shows, and you owe the bank a load of money. What choice do you have? There's no other way. You know I don't have work right now. People are looking down on me, so if I drive this hunk of junk, my pride will disappear. You want your pride. Can it pay your bills? Feed you? Drive you around? Keep you warm at nights? Why does it matter what other people think? <sighs> Clearly, you've never been a star. You don't know about the life we lead. But you're not a star anymore. Don't you realize that? Look around you. Do you see any paparazzi or fans screaming out your name? You're just like the rest of us now. You're gonna have to live like all of us do. I'm not like the rest of you, I'm Gawain. <sighs> so what if you are, huh? Gawain's just a name, that's it. There's no spotlight because you're a nobody. No, you're the nobody. And you'll never ever be somebody. Nobody will ever know your name. You're the real nobody here. That's true. I've always been a nobody. But at least my life is safe and it's built on solid ground. I have all that I need. I've always been true to myself. What about you? You're a mere reflection in the camera. You're wrapped in fancy clothes and your every emotion is an act. Go in. Don't let your whole life be just another show. You finally have a chance to be yourself. What's so bad about coming back down to Earth? You have no right to lecture me. I don't want to see you again. <sighs> Stars. What a tough life. Whose design is this? That's mine, Mr. Shao. That style is popular these days. Hmm. It's good. Sit down. And this one? <laughs> that is mine, Mr. Shao. This is I'm also a... good. Okay. Sit down. What about this third one? Hmm, it's also good. And this one? This is good too. That's mine. Mr. Xiao, you like that design as well, right? Mido is quite new at this, but she's talented. Let's make her the lead designer on this one. What do you think? This design is so crude and it lacks details. You think she's qualified to be a lead designer? She lacks fundamental skills. You're too easy on her. Do this again. If you can't make a decent design by tomorrow, you're no longer on the team. Am I clear? Miruo. I've worked hard to put you on the team. Don't give up too easily. Mr. Lane, I... I agree with him. Your proposal needs some work. But he was so harsh on you, it wasn't so bad. Mr. Shao is right. I still have a lot to work on my designs. I'll make the changes and submit again. Your persistence is a valuable trait. 
How about I'll treat you to dinner and help you with your proposal? Sounds good? No, thanks. I can do it. Thank you. You think she's qualified to be a lead designer? She lacks fundamental skills. Do this again. If you can't make a decent design by tomorrow, you're no longer on the team. Am I clear? Whoa. Hey, Fatty. What's going on here? Are you taking a test tomorrow? Oh, I have bad news. Shao Liang rejected my proposal. Huh? He rejected it? It's crude and lacked details. He told me to do it again. If it's still not up to standard, I should go work elsewhere. That means all the effort we put into this have gone to waste. He's going to fire you? Really? On the other hand, for the first time in my life, I now have a chance to become a designer, so I won't give up. Hey, aren't you friends with a lot of different types of women? Um, maybe you can shed some light on the sort of diamonds women like to wear. Oh, how the hell would I know? I changed my ways a long time ago. I wouldn't know now. That's just great. This time, even you can't help me out. <sighs> I'm really done for this time. Well, it isn't that hard. The point is, women don't really care how the ring looks. They care about the person who gives them the ring. I'm sorry, but I'm not designing a piece that a man can readily buy as a present for someone else. Are you else. really stupid or just playing dumb? I am talking about a mindset. Think about all of your favorite things and the reason why you like them. The feeling they inspire in you is the same feeling the designer had when he created them, got it? <gasps> yeah, you're right! <gasps> I got it. That's great. You're so slow. Hey, Fatty. So about tonight, um... Do you want me to stay here with you? I'm good. My bear can keep me company. So why are you still here? Uh, I thought you wanted me to help you with the design of the ring. <laughs> there are some things that I have to do by myself without your help. You go get some rest, huh? Uh... Ah. Is Xiaoliang really going to fire you, Fatty? <sighs> That's so sad. Yeah. Let's see, one of my favorite things is... <gasps> Drumsticks! just can't slap a chicken drumstick on a piece of jewelry. Hmm. Wow, I can't believe you bought that. You said it looked like me. He has eyes that shine like stars. Stars. <gasps> That's right. Eyes like stars. He's got eyes that shine like stars. And he has a cute nose. And a mouth. Mr. Xiao, this is my new design. <clears throat> Why bring it here? Give it to your boss. You're the one who told me to revise it. I've made changes to all the things you pointed out. With this one, you will be very happy. I think you misunderstood me. I asked you to do it again not to impress me, so there's no need to show it to me. If you want a reward, talk to Lin Ziliang. That wasn't my intention. I just wanted you to be the first one to see my design. The theme for this is... I have no time for small talks. Just take it and leave. Have you ever stopped to consider how I feel about this? No matter what I do, you're never going to care, are you? 
Have you considered my feelings? Huh? I want you to leave this company. Leave now. But... I really thought I had explained everything to you already. End of discussion. Three days already. Still no call from him. <gasps> Are you still mad at me? <gasps> I could never be mad at you, Wen Wen. Oh, please don't be like this. Don't be angry. I'm not mad at you, Wen Wen. Now give me a kiss. <laughs> Pathetic. But it's okay. I prefer to be alone anyway. <sighs> Hi, everyone. Thank you. This is for you. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Listen! This is the cry of a trembling soul! I'll be back one day as strong as ever. Cheers. Cheers to all! Thanks, everyone! Thank you! <sighs> How did I survive all these years? Ta-da! <sighs> mm. Yes, it's me. My name is Gawen. Hello to my friends at the back! Come on, everybody, sing with me! Shake your body! Shake it! Shake it! Follow my moves! We'll dance all night! Ouch! Shake it! <laughs> They even call me. I'm bored. Lay him in! I still look gorgeous even without cameras around. It's just me. <laughs> Here. It's all right. I'm just passing by. <sighs> I'm not going to yield to his silent treatment. On the side along the mountain, there resides a group of Smurfs. What is going on with you? That pose. Isn't it hard? Huh? This, a little. Can we go back to normal now? I see you're doing pretty well. You're getting better with life. Oh, there's more. <laughs> you like my outfit? You're showing a lot of skin. Why don't you pull it down a bit? What's up with your clothes? I'm wearing some clothes from last year. So what's with that ugly <gasps> pout you're wearing? <laughs> Amazing. Welcome to the world of normal people. But no matter what I wear, I still give off the aura of a superstar. <sighs> what should I do? What aura? A, a star's, star's aura. aura. <clears throat> I can't find it. Where exactly is this aura? <laughs> Shall we? Okay, let's go. Wait, this just occurred to me. You know you are beautiful. Thank you so much. <laughs> Fatty, did your design pass? Why haven't you called me?
So how did your proposal go? Why haven't you contacted me, you fatty? Fatty, 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 fat, 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 fatty, fatty. Oh, who are you calling fatty? What? Uh, did, did I just say fatty? What are you doing? You just sold your car. Why are you buying so many things? I'm buying all these things with the money I got for the car. My life is off to a brand new start, so I need to start off with a good meal. So what is the point of buying all these things? Are you going to cook? I am. With my skill set, don't count on me. I'll eat your food, but I'm not cooking. I don't know anything when it comes to cooking. Poor you. Don't worry, you're not cooking. Of all my life skills, the only one I can still use is my cooking skill. I'll show you some amazing things a goddess can create. Whoa, 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 whoa. what goddess? You can't just give yourself that title. It's not right, and it's not for you to decide. Who cares what people think? Don't you think I'm a goddess? Come and look into my stunning eyes. Come closer. Sure. Hmm. You're crazy. <gasps> there is one thing that's been baffling me for quite some time. Important How did someone like you become an actress? It makes Everybody no sense. Inside. Get two for the price of one. Be quiet. I didn't Important say anything. Stakes. Now on discount for a limited time. Get you hear two that? for the price of one. Imported steaks now on discount for a limited time. Get two for the. She price said limited one. discount. What limited discount? One? Are you stupid or something? It means the steaks are sold for a cheaper price, but for a limited period of time only. Huh? How did you know that? What? Uh, I've been conditioned to notice these things. So as soon as I hear the word discount, I'm on it. Look! It's over there. Hurry! Take my shoes. What? Wait! Go in. <gasps> stick! 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 <gasps> Hey, that stick's mine! That one's no, mine! this is mine! Oh. <laughs> this is mine! You can't take this! This is no, mine! This is I'm mine. older than you, young lady! Let go of this stick! I got this before you did! Wait. This is mine! Are you that actress, Gawain? Oh. Huh? Oh, Gawain! I know her! Isn't she that actress? She's an actress! And she's buying food on sale? That's right! Aren't you rich? Oh, no, Why no, are you no, buying no, discounted no, this meat be. products? How That's can you show your face after the scandal? Fine, I am Gawain! So what? So what if I am here buying discounted steaks? Thanks to all the people spreading those awful rumors, I've been out of work for a month now. And my food for the whole month was just a box of instant noodles. I haven't had meat in ages. What have I done to you? Why are you treating me like I don't deserve to eat steak? Do you know how I go about my job in the winter? I run around with bare legs, wearing nothing but a thin coat. Can you imagine what that's like or how cold I feel? And every time my mother would call and ask me how I am, <laughs> I would tell her I'm fine even if I'm sick and longing for her because I don't want her to worry. <laughs> Do you know how lonely that made me feel? Don't you have kids? Kids who are working hard to make you happy? <laughs> so what if I'm a star? I'm just a human being after all, and I do my job just like all of you. Why are you treating me like I don't deserve this? <laughs> I'm just barely in my 20s, working hard to be a good daughter. Why must you do these things to me? <laughs> Fine then, I don't want it. I don't want any of this. Have it then. I don't want it. I don't no, want no, no. it. Here, you take this. You seem to really need it. Take it, it's fine. My daughter is also working very hard. It's difficult for you young ones nowadays. There, there, don't worry. Here, you can have mine as well. Here you go. All right, everybody. That's it. Nothing to see here. Go, 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 go. All right. Move, move. Let's go. Oh, this is sad. Are you all right? Hey, are you okay? Yes, I'm okay. Don't cry. You should put your shoes back on. <gasps> then you can go back to being a goddess, all right? <sighs> so, what do you think? See, look in my eyes. And I'm literally dripping snot earlier. Huh? <gasps> that was all an act? Shh, shh. Keep your voice down. Move it. Let's go. Oh. Wait. Let's take two. That was awesome. You deserve an Oscar. Huh? Shh, come on. Why don't you taste it? You don't want to try it? 
Well, honestly, these dishes, they do look great. But I'm a little worried that they might taste a bit strange. Kind of like you, you know? But how would you know you've never had me? No, what I meant I was... I know you like me. Why bother pretending? Wait, what are you saying? Here you go. Enough talk. I won't tell your secret. Open up. Don't you dare just my cooking. Eat it! How is it? It's delicious! You really do know how to cook. Hmm. Of hmm. course, see? Even a goddess is fully capable of doing everything the rest of you can. I just haven't found the right person to cook for. As a star, I was so busy. But then when I was with Hanbin, he was always... What is it? Still thinking about that punk? Hmm? Actually, I'm not. It's probably a good thing he leaked those photos, or I wouldn't be living life like I do now. I'm free to do what I want. No reporters, no affairs. It's great to be free. Now that's my girl. When life gives you lemons, then you make lemonade. What's past is past. Learn to let it go and move on. Here. You know, I've never been able to figure you out. You know, I get that others don't like me, but what's your deal? What do you mean? Back when I was famous, you showed no interest in getting close to me, but now that I've lost it all, why are you so... Huh? Ah. Uh, Aha! Now that I'm poor, you think you have a chance? Oh, but oh. I, I don't. This Jeez, whole thing's I'm a just misunderstanding. Kidding. It's just I want to talk to you Here, about... let's drink. Here, cheers. Let's make a toast. All right. To my great acting today. No, to you finally acting like yourself. To me getting better at it. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, uh, hey, bottoms up. Okay, bottoms up. <laughs> wow. Now it's time to eat. Here, have some of these. Nobody I know can make these dishes at home. Yet you did it all. The goddess knows it all. Were you a chef before? Just shut up and eat. I've got one right here. <laughs> it's okay, don't rush it. It's all yours. I'm nervous. I mean, having a meal with a goddess makes me really nervous, you know? Hmm. Especially okay. now, after she became a regular person. I'll get more wine. These are all the designs from the design department. In 10 minutes, there's a meeting with the other departments. Hmm. Mr. Lean, who will be the head designer? Why? Are you worried I only have eyes for Mirua? Whoever you recommend, I'm sure you have your reasons. A boss will only foster two types of people in a company. Confidants and tools. Do you know the difference between the two? <sighs> Those that are tools can be tossed away after use, but confidants will always stay at the boss's side. And when the right time comes, they'll be next in line. So you see, for me, Midoo is just a tool I can use. But you, you are my only confidant. So relax, I'll recommend you to be the lead designer. After a month of preparation, our company is now ready to launch its newest product. On behalf of my department, I am here today to share with you our latest designs. I hope to hear the opinions of the people from the other departments. Your thoughts will help me choose this year's featured design. And now, I'd like to present to everyone our designs. Wait a minute. In previous years, we relied on the department head's recommendations. But this year, I've decided to change the rules. Chiyo? Here are all the designs and their corresponding summaries. Until this moment, besides Mr. Lean, myself, and the designers, nobody has seen these designs. I have removed the designers' names from these slides and mixed up their order for an unbiased judgment. Mr. Shao, the department head makes the recommendations. I'm changing the rules. All right, let's begin voting. Everyone, it's almost time. Let the voting process begin. I think number one is good. It's a classic design. I like seven. It's fresh. The sales department unanimously agrees that number seven is the best. It's got a classic style, but with a new twist. 
I believe it will definitely sell very well. The project management department agrees. We all think it will leave a lasting impression. Our loyal consumers will love it. So, Mr. Xiao, what do you think? Mr. Lin, have you seen this design before? I don't remember seeing this one. Mr. Xiao, the theme of this design is... stars. Mr. Lin, have you seen this design before? I don't remember seeing this one. Mr. Xiao, the theme of this design is... stars. <sighs> Who designed this? The result's about to be announced. Congrats, Yuan. I'm sure you'll be chosen. Of course. Who else could it be? Our designs are just too childish to be selected. Congratulations. Mr. Lin, has a decision been made? After deliberation, this year we will follow the concept of Mi Duo's design, stars. Congratulations, Mr. Xiao's acknowledged you. You didn't disappoint me. There must be some kind of mistake. Later tonight, I'll be holding a dinner party. I hope you'll all come. You're coming with me. What? But I'm in the middle of work. <sighs> Please come to tonight's celebration, Mr. Xiao. So, oh. Yuan, are you okay? Have you had enough? Huh? Had enough of what? Ah, oh, Mr. Lin said it was you who chose my design. Listen, you can achieve your dream anywhere. Why stay at Tisiro? Because of you. I hate being seen as someone who relied on her boyfriend to get ahead. I want to be qualified for your love. When I become a professional designer, I can stand by your side supporting you. As a woman who everyone will acknowledge deserves your love. That's not how it works. I don't expect you to do what I do. What matters is whether you care about me, whether you'd give me up for something or someone else. I never thought about leaving you. I was actually worried you might leave me after the fight we had. I'll give you one last chance. Make your choice, me or work. Will you let me finish the project? I want an answer now. I... I want to stay in Tessiro. I wasn't expecting you'd give me up. Listen, I still care about you. It's just that... In the future, when we part ways, you won't affect me anymore. Good luck, Mirua. You have Xiao Liang's eyes and the same nose. You can achieve your dream anywhere. Why stay at Tisiro? Because of you. I'll give you one last chance. Make your choice, me or work. Will you let me finish the project? I wasn't expecting you'd give me up. Just a pretty face. She doesn't have any talent. Yet her design gets chosen just because Mr. Shao likes her. I hate it. It's so unfair. Mr. Shao is Gowan's ex, right? Miduo and Gowan are best friends. Which could only mean she stole her best friend's love. I wouldn't put it past her. She must have planned it all along. If not, how else could she have beaten our designs? Especially Su Yuan's, which was exceptional. What a shame. The project should have been yours. Don't worry, C.U.N. People like her, their success wouldn't last long. We're still on your side. Right. We believe in you. Thank you for all your support. 
But we need to work harder, since no one else has our backs. I know. You've faithfully kept me company through a lot of long nights. You've always listened to what's on my mind. However, tonight, it will be different since Fatty will be fired today. When she comes back, she'll be frustrated. And when she's like that, she always hugs you. Tonight can follow the same trend. I'll have to do something about it. Which is why later, the two of us can coexist. That way, Fatty will come to me instead. Brother. Oh, uh, pardon me, I mean sister. Forgive me, okay? Just this one time. But don't you worry, you will still be allowed to play here. However, when Fatty comes back, I'll have no choice but to hide you, okay? Yeah, and uh, oh, I know. If you feel bored sitting here, you can have some water and play for a little while, all right? Here. There. Okay. Just stay here and be good. I'll start cooking for Fatty. It's her again? Please excuse me. Hey, what's up? Mm, Naomi, you're not at work, right? Could you come over? Yes, what is it? An emergency? What kind? She's crowning? Okay, start preparing the OR. Sorry, a mother's life is in my hands later. Okay, bye. Hang on, Litley. Hello? What's his problem? So what if I am here buying discounted steaks? I can't believe a video of me was taken when I look so horrible. Oh, you can see my snot! Uh, don't be scared. I won't perform surgery on you. Uh, drink your water, okay? I thought he wasn't coming. That's Ming for you. That was quick. Lei Lei? Hmm? Uh, Lei? Hello, Miss Gao. My name is Wonka. Hello. My company, Cadillac, has a project for you. I'm not sure if Hang you... on. Uh, Miss Gao? You have a guest in the door. Wait here a moment. She'll be done in a bit. <laughs> Oh my goodness. What now? What should I do? What now? Oh, hello. Are you Miss Gao? Yes, please come in. I believe your name's Mr. Wang, right? Correct. My housekeeper told me that you're here to offer me a project. Right. I'm surprised. I've actually been on vacation together with my manager and all my assistants. They're not back yet. That's why I wasn't expecting any projects to come in. <laughs> well, no wonder I couldn't contact your manager. Oh. Forgive me for coming here suddenly like this. <laughs> oh, no. I'm sorry. My housekeeper forgot to clean up again. I really ought to fire oh, her. Please have okay. a seat. This shouldn't take long. I'm just here to see if you'd be a good fit for the job. <sighs> I want to know if you still work as a model. Model? Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Nan Nan? Yes? What have you been doing? Your skin looks great. I know, right? Let me show you. The trick is, hmm? the face mask that CU1 recommended to us, as you can see, it really works. Really? I should buy some too. You I should. want skin like yours. Are you ready? Mm, basically. Let's go. Okay. Hey, Miduo, why are you still here? You know that tonight's party is for you, right? Yeah, let's go. Mm. I'll head out soon. We'll okay, go ahead see then. you there. Siyuan, can I ask you something? If you had to choose between love and your career, which would you pick? Are you making fun of me? You saw what my boyfriend and I have gone through back at the bar. Then your design beat mine. Now you're asking me about love and career? Don't you think it's ridiculous? I didn't mean that. So what do you mean then? You've managed to move up and now you're rubbing it in our faces? 
Even though you were only able to do it because of Mr. Xiao. And don't pretend you're innocent. Not with me. You and I both know this project should have gone to me because I'm better. But C.U.N., the design was chosen by all the departments. It wasn't just Mr. Xiao. Keep telling that to yourself. Everyone knows the truth. Let me ask you a question. Don't you feel any shame at all for stealing your best friend's boyfriend? Uh, what are you saying? You know what I'm talking about. Without Gao Wen, you wouldn't even be fit to be Mr. Xiao's maid. Your persistence is a valuable trait. How about I'll treat you to dinner and help you with your proposal? You're coming with me. What? But I'm in the middle of work. <sighs> Please come to tonight's celebration, Mr. Xiao. <sighs> Mr. Xiao, why are you still here? Shall I drive you home? Is the dinner party over? I wouldn't know, sir. I've just been here at the office the whole time. <sighs> I see. I'm worried. Let's go there, come on. Listen up, guys. Before Miduo arrives, let's first have a toast to C.U.N. C.U.N., no matter what, to us you'll always be the lead designer. <laughs> That's exactly. right. To you. <laughs> to C.U.N. Here, here. Cheers. No. I need to face them. Hello, everyone. I'm sorry I'm late. Welcome, Miduo. Come here. Sit down. Yes. I'm sorry again. Now that the lead designer's here, let's all have a toast. <laughs> um, I'd also like to propose a toast. Thank you, everyone, for all the help and encouragement you've given me. To all of you. Let's drink to Miduo's success. Miduo, no matter what other people say, I still believe you deserve this honor, okay? Thanks, Mr. Lean. Here's to you. You must be hungry. Here, you should have some sushi first. Here, eat. So, Fatty, I guess your design was rejected again. It wasn't. It was actually selected as the flagship design. Don't jerk me around. You said it was impossible before you left. Now you're back and you look depressed. You must have been fired. It's true. Last night I made the design that you inspired, and the company liked it and chose it. Huh? You're saying I helped you again? Mr. Lane also threw a party for me, but it seems everyone's come to hate me, so I left early. They hate you? Why? What happened? After C.U.N. found out that my design had been selected, she became very furious. She started saying these really mean and insulting things. Oh, don't pay attention to any of those people. They're just jealous. I don't think it's envy at all. I remember something Mr. Lane said when he recruited me to the company. He asked me to choose which side I'm going to be on, his or Xiao Liang's. At that time, Xiao Liang didn't even know I existed, so Mr. Lin tried every possible way to get me close to him so I could seduce and distract him. But I didn't play along with it. Later, when I fell in love with Xiao Liang and we became a couple, he quickly changed his strategy. <gasps> he decided to use you when instead, he spurred her on to hate me and make my life hard so that I'd be depressed. He hopes that when I do become depressed, it would distract Xiao Liang from his work. Then he'd have his chance to outdo him. Well done, Fetty. You're finally able to think on your feet. I'm impressed. 
I don't know. It's no wonder. Xiaoliang always said I was trouble to him. I was hurt when he said it. But now it seems I'm not only trouble, but a thorn on his side. Oh, don't worry. None of this is your fault. Lin Ziliang's targeting Xiaoliang, and he plans to defeat him through you. He'll hurt you. What should I do? Nothing. The situation has become clear. It's easier now. Listen to me. Just stick to your routine. The only way to cope is by doing nothing at all. In the future, when we part ways, you won't affect me anymore. Good luck, Miruo. If Lin Xiaoliang wants to succeed, he'll have to change tactics. Oh, because Xiaoliang and I don't have that kind of relationship anymore. What? Say that again? Do you want to drink with me? Let's drink till we drop. Okay, until we drop. Where are you going? Upstairs to drop off some stuff. Don't fall asleep. Wake me up if I do. <sighs> Mr. Shao. Mr. Shao. Mr. Shao. Mr. Shao. Hello, Mr. Mr. Shao. You're late, Xiao Liang. Mido's not here anymore. I didn't come to see her. Do you really care about her? Since you're already here, why don't we have a toast to my latest defeat? <sighs> Listen to me. Don't get Mido involved in your stupid games. Consider this a warning. You're overreacting. I just want to help you take care of her. After all, she's my half-brother's girlfriend. Take back what you said. <laughs> Which part do you mean? The part where I take care of her? Or the part where I'm your half-brother? In both cases, you're unqualified. <laughs> you're like a broken record, you know. If you ever hurt her, you'll regret it. Shao and Mr. Lin are brothers? Uh, Mr. Lin. Since when were you there? Since Mr. Shao entered the room. It wasn't on purpose. I came back from my cell phone. I swear, I'll never tell anyone that you're Mr. Shao's half-brother. Are you threatening me with that information? Absolutely not. You once told me I was your confidant. How could I threaten you with such a thing? I neither have nor need a confidant. What are you playing at? Everything in the company belongs to Xiaoliang, while nothing belongs to me. Did you find it funny how he threatened me? Or perhaps you agree with him. Do you think I'm unqualified to be your boss? Huh? Understand this. Everything I have, I have gained through my own efforts. No one can take that away! Yes, I know. I know too well how it feels to be excluded. Oh, so you know. <laughs> how can you know how it feels? <laughs> Leo Siren, listen carefully. If you tell anyone what you heard here, I wouldn't care. But Mr. Xiao and his father surely would. And they'll do anything to keep their dirty little secret. Okay, congratulations, Fatty. You're now a designer. Cheers! Cheers. <sighs> also, you've successfully transformed from being simply an envied pretty face into someone of value. Well done, Fatty. Here's to you. Thank you. I actually need to thank you, Lei Ming. I owe all my success to you because you've given me valuable advice. Thank you. 
Here's to you. Well, of course you should thank me. After all, I put in so much effort. You and I did all the work. <sighs> the problem is other people still believe that it all came from Xiaoliang. And that I'm nothing more than just a pretty face. Don't worry. Like I said, it's a misunderstanding. Besides, now that Xiaoliang has broken up with you, everyone will start trusting you again, okay? Yeah. I guess you're right. We have nothing to do with each other anymore. Maybe this is for the better. Hmm. Well, the good thing is, now that he doesn't want me, other people can't hurt him anymore by taking advantage of me. <laughs> oh, this looks nice. Oh, Let's put this in. Charlie, listen to me. Stop thinking about it. Just let bygones be bygones, okay? I just can't help but wonder why I'm so useless. Every time I want to do something for him, I end up making a horrible mess and bringing him even more trouble. Oh. All right. You look like you're about to cry. Your eyes are getting red. How about we eat dinner first? Please don't cry. I get upset when I see you cry, so please, don't cry. Let's just eat. Why won't it give me a chance to make something of myself? I've put in so much effort. I've worked and worked to make a difference, to become a better me. I thought it was worth it to just stand by his side and work with him. But he doesn't trust me at all, and from the look of things, apparently he never has. You still have me, okay? I trust you. I believe in you as always. Let's not talk about him anymore and eat. Wow, it looks good. Hey, you know, there's something in here that you really like. What's it called? Something something. Oh, right. Shrimp balls. Oh, here's one. This is a pork ball. Oh, is it? Who cares? They're all meatballs, right? <laughs> anyway, let's eat our fill. When we're full, we get sleepy. And when we are asleep, we forget everything, right? Have some mutton. It's good while it's hot. Another toast. Thank you. Cheers! Ouch! Sorry. That hurt! You're so heavy. <sighs> Hey, what? let's have another toast. Yeah, sure. Let's drink. Cheers! Let's toast. <laughs> This should be the address. Sorry, did I get the wrong number? I'm looking for Mido. She's sleeping. She can't talk right now.
Congratulations on becoming lead designer. What's wrong? Not enough flowers? I wanted to get a big bouquet, but it was too expensive. Here, these are for you. I didn't get the job, you know! to work. Why did you sleep here? Oh. Hello? Uh, sorry. Did I get the wrong number? I'm looking for Mido. What's wrong? Oh, nothing. Why did I sleep here? Oh, I know. It's because I was drunk. That, that's why I slept here. I gotta go to work. Hey, wait a minute, fatty. Uh, you haven't had breakfast, right? How about we go and grab some? I'm not hungry. Okay, then I'll drive you to work. Oh, no need. Uh, uh, do you plan to make up with Xiaoyang later? Will you talk to him today? I don't know. Probably not. Then what if you meet him accidentally? Will you greet him and say hi or something? What in the world are you implying? You're acting really weird, Lady Ming. This is how you behave when you lie. Oh, you're being paranoid. I'm not lying. I've got nothing to lie about. <laughs> there must be something you're hiding from me. Of course not. Aren't you off to work? Hurry up and go. You'll be late. No. I've known you for 20 years. I can tell when you're holding something back. Come on. Tell me. Don't keep it to yourself. I'm not used to nothing. it. Nothing. Okay, fine, fine. I'll tell you. Actually, last night I just... Uh, oh, well, you know... Hey, your phone is ringing! It's not my phone, it's yours. Mine? Yes, oh, yours, right. see? <sighs> yes, hello? Gawen? What's up? Ah, yes, let me look for it. Let's see, let's see. Well, uh... Oh, I don't know. How about you come to the hospital later? I'll be at work. Come during office hours. All right. Oh, uh, that's okay. See you then. Okay, bye. Whew. Hey, stop, give it back. Would you please stop twirling around, Gowen? Are you practicing how to be a bee? Fine. Come on, I told you to cut it out. This is a hospital. I work here, you're embarrassing me. <laughs> okay, so, uh, what do you think? <sighs> what, about what? What do you think of my dress? I've been asked to model for a car show. Do I look good? <laughs> Yeah, very good. I'm sorry. I don't have much time now. I still have work to do. Let's talk later, okay? Wait. Did I hear it right? You'll be a model? For a car show? Aren't you an actress? Why work as a model? So what if I am? I've done modeling work before, and if I can become popular again, it's worth a try. <laughs> well, you're right. After all, it's better than sitting on your hands. <sighs> This time, I want to show the world just how determined I am, that I can survive the highs and the lows. I became a superstar after being a model. I'm certain I can definitely do it again if I put my heart into it. That's called a tur- <clears throat> Are you all right? Be careful. Don't hurt yourself. Now I really have to go. No, no, wait, hang on. When I go there, I need to have an assistant. I was hoping you'd help me. But I really need to go back to work. Wait, there will be a lot of models there. Well, huh? What do I care huh? about models? They just stand there like wax figures. I'd rather go to Madame Toussaint's than a car show. You don't understand. That's them. I'll be walking on the red carpet and stand out among them. Bam, bam, bam. I'll be the best there. <laughs> okay, easy. You're drawing attention to yourself. Stand up. Hey, what's the matter? I feel dizzy. I didn't know twirling can do that to you. Let's go. Midor, go get some coffee for everyone. 
I want mocha. I'll go in a while. Uh, I sent you an email with some materials. You need to get back to me. Okay, I'll read it now. I have tons of forms for processing. Have you done them yet? I need to modify a design before I can give you the forms. We know you need to work on your design, but no one replaced you as an assistant. You still need to do your job. But I... Promotions sure change people. She even dared talk back to her superior. Listen, everyone. We better be careful. If she complains to the boss about us, we'll end up out on the street jobless. That's right, guys. Ever since a certain someone came to our department, all the company's rules have been ignored. She just does whatever she wants. Even stealing her best friend's boyfriend without hesitation isn't beyond her. You're not going to complain to Mr. Shao, are you? We're all colleagues. Don't take it so seriously. It's just office banter. And besides, you know that every one of us here can't afford to lose their job. Say whatever you want, but let's get one thing straight. The best designs were selected by majority vote. I won simply because my design was good. I can't be an assistant here forever. Did you hear that? She doesn't want to work as an assistant anymore. How should we address you then? As the future wife of the boss, Hermie Duo? What are you arguing about? Why are you always causing problems? I hire people to help the company. I don't pay people their salaries to cause trouble. If you have a problem getting along with your colleagues, then quit. Mr. Shao, I need a minute. The press conference is about to start. I'll be taking Mido to meet our clients. You won't follow us, will you? Do whatever you want. It's your costume. The show's about to start. You need to get changed. This is all I'm wearing? What do you think a car show needs to do most? To show some skin. That's the only way to become a sure hit. <sighs> Look at me. I'm Gawen. People recognize me even if my face is covered. Now you want me to wear something like this? I don't think you understand. You've worked as a model before, right? Have you forgotten how this works? You need to go with the flow. And besides... You're not as popular as you were before. If you don't take this chance to draw attention, who will hire you in the future? Even if I never get hired, I will never wear such a thing. Either you give me a new set of clothes or I'll wear my own for the show. I'm warning you, don't do this the hard way. The contract you've signed clearly states that if you break the rules, you'll have to compensate us. <sighs> Keep that thing to yourself, you sick pervert. I'll never be part of such a vulgar show. Go in! Let me tell you something. Sexy and dirty are different things, and don't talk to me about fame. I've been the subject of a lot of rumors, but I've never encountered such dirty tricks. about this. If she knew about it, she'd definitely be angry. And that would be the end of our friendship. I can't have that. Dr. Lei? Are you okay? You don't look too good. Say, is there something that you're hiding from me? No, not really. Why are you asking? Impossible. 
Why? Did you notice something? Doesn't everyone have a secret they're keeping, even you? I don't have a secret. <sighs> Seems I'm the only one. <sighs> oh. What's the matter? The, the phone. Yeah, you should get it. <sighs> Hello, let me explain. I know I shouldn't have answered the call last night. Well, I don't need a loan and I'm not buying a house. Don't call me again! What's the matter, Dr. Lei? If you have something on your mind, tell me about it. Who knows, maybe I can help you. It might make you feel better. Thank you, Xiaoman. You're so kind. I told you not to call me again! Are you deaf or something? Uh, oh, hey. Okay, I understand. I'll be there soon. Uh. I'm sorry, I thought it was some real estate agent bothering me. Already. We're not on a set and there's no director. You can stop acting now. Hey. What should I do? Okay, okay, I believe you. You're crying for real and not just acting. But you know, the thing is, well, you can't cry here. We're in a hospital, okay? What do you say we change locations? Huh? Why do we have to change every time? I haven't changed even a bit. I'm still very pretty and I still so why am I not a superstar anymore? Why do things always Look, change? don't worry about it. You're going to be a star forever. No one can ever replace you, okay? But go ahead and cry your eyes out. I'll stay with you here until you're done. <laughs> is there a camera? Of course there is. Why else would I hold my hands up? You look so pretty and you're so curvy. That would be such a shame. We'll keep it. No, seriously, let's sit down for now. This is embarrassing. You're crying in front of so many people. There's no point in cutting the footage, right? There were a lot of people taking pictures with their phones. Hey, that means you're popular. What should I do? My makeup's running. I didn't put waterproof makeup on. I won't look good in the pictures. You know, when people look at you, they see a goddess. Because you're usually brave and calm. I didn't know someone like you had a vulnerable side. And it was really frightening. Like, really. It was just a fluke. F forget about it and don't tell anyone. I need to warn you, though. We are at my department. Obstetrics. You hugged me and cried for a long time. People might get the wrong idea thinking I'm a bad guy who's here to deal with a situation. It's going to ruin my reputation. Mm. Everyone here's a colleague. <laughs> Feel better? Mm. I'm very grateful that you're with me. At least you can make me laugh. You think I'm a comedian, right? Here's your design plan. Your forms. Your coffee. May I have your attention, please? I need to announce something. 
I just checked Mido's proposal and I found some problems. I need to arrange an assistant designer for her. So yeah, I'm assigning you to the job. But... Okay then. <laughs>